Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. Finally, I have come up with easy cheat sheet for the subject C and C++. This video is going to be really very helpful, useful and important for all the degree first year second semester students. Only for BCom computer applications. I repeat, this is only for BCom computer application students who are having C and C++ examination. Stay tuned, don't skip the video, watch the video till end and if you are new to our channel, learn with Sahira, subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. If you want the notes of C and C++, you can text me on my Instagram. My Instagram ID is also learn with Sahira. Once you text me there, I will be giving you easy, simple and clear to understand notes. They are ready for the examination. You will be getting the complete subject easily by going through that notes. Okay. So if you want the notes, let me know on my Instagram. Drop me a message. I will be giving you the notes. But note, payment is must. I repeat, payment is must. Don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. If you want the notes, then only you text me. Okay. So keeping this aside, let us get started with our video easy cheat sheet for the subject C and C++. In C and C++, first and the foremost basic thing is the structure of the program. Whenever they ask you C and C++ program or example, in this subject, the basic program structure you need to know. Otherwise, you will not be able to write any program in this subject. In your second unit, third unit, fourth unit, definitely they will be asking you example program to write. If you don't know the basic structure, then you will not be able to write. And in unit number one, a separate question has been given as basic structure of C program. They will be asking you write about basic C program structure. At that time, what you have to write already, I have said you in unit one explanation video. If you didn't watch that video, go to our channel playlist semester two C and C++ under which you will be finding all the videos related to C and C++. Anyways, we are talking about the C program structure here. First, hashtag like this hash. Actually, it is not hashtag. Actually, we use hashtag in our social media life. But here in the program, it is known as hash. I think you all know about it. This is not any different one. You have to write hash include then stdio.h in these brackets. Okay. So this is same for all the programs. Starting one, this will be same. Then you have main function. The next line which you are seeing on the screen is known as main function. Okay. Like if you are going with int, if you are giving integer like whole numbers, you will be writing int. If you are giving floating numbers, decimal numbers, you will be writing float like that. Data type you will be writing and main function you will be writing opening the flower braces or you can say curly braces. Then here code, variable decla uh, declaration and your logic, the commands, all that you will be writing here middle okay after main you will be writing the complete code at the last you will be returning zero you need to write return zero semicolon then the uh, open opening curly braces you have opened here right here you need to close them so this is the basic structure of c program whenever they ask you you just write this program then you just give your explanation in your own words how I gave you. The first will be same for all the programs, then main function, variable declaration and the logic, then return. Okay. Next, we have data types. In data types, we have integer, char, character, float and double. Integer means all the whole numbers. Character means single character. In the character, numbers can also come and uh, alphabets can also come symbols can also come okay in float decimal numbers like if you have 2.26 point wherever you are seeing it is float if you have big floating numbers like uh, in the floating number in that decimal numbers if you are having big ones then we will be using double so these are the data types make sure you know it input and output map printf is used to give the output okay whenever we uh, use print then we will be using the output like printf open the parenthesis right hi sahira 
you will be getting in the output hi sahira okay so printf is used for output for input if you want to give the input we will be using scanf in your own words you write already in our explanation videos we have seen the brief description about it variables and constants okay int a n const float pi this is constant okay variable i think you all know variable uh, holds a special value like uh, we will be assigning any value to the variable right operators we have arithmetic comparison logical bitwise also arithmetic uh, operators are nothing but mathematical operators addition multiplication subtraction division and all that comparison means greater than less than uh, uh, small uh, equals to like like that comparison like we are comparing both the values logical means and and or okay control statements we have if uh, if else uh, switch uh, if uh, while do while will come in looping statements okay so if else you can see here it is the code like uh, you can say the basic uh, program or the basic structure of if else is this if like condition to do something else condition like if uh, the 2 is an even number like uh, if 2 is an even number like you can uh, write print f this is an even number like if it is 2 is even number, it will be giving you as this is an even number. If it is not even number, else give it as this is odd number. Close it. So, whatever the number you give here, whatever the input you give here, if you give 2, even. If you give 3, it will show us odd. So, if this, you provide this. If not, you provide that we are trying to say. Switch. Already switch one we have seen, right? In our explanation video, switch is nothing but C. When we are having number of, like number of options, from that number of options, if we want, like if we want the switch to choose the according option, like the suitable option from number of options, we will be using switch, okay? Loops. Per loop, while loop, do, uh, do while loop. Already we have seen this, right? So this is the cheat sheet for it, okay? for while and this is the code which you are seeing on the screen already in the explanations we have seen functions this is the thing what we have learned in our explanations also arrays in arrays we have one dimensional two dimensional multi multi dimensional uh, in this we just have one single line and in uh, this uh, two dimensional we have rows and columns in the form of table in the multi dimensional we have more than two okay Strings, what are the strings already we have seen? Strings are nothing but array of characters. When we have group of characters at a particular place, then that is nothing but string. See, character name 20. So, only 20 letters name can be written. If the name is more than 20, that will not be valid or that will not be considered or shown. Okay, then we have pointer. Pointers also, I think you already have seen in our explanation videos. Yes, so this is the thing which is the code you can say for the pointers then we have structures structures also we have seen don't worry short explanation videos i will be uploading this is just a cheat sheet okay like struct student id name marks also we can give okay like 101 sahira marks floating we can give like 90.5 like that then closing structure C++ basics class and object will be there this is not that important for you they will not be asking you just you just need to go with the uh, comparison like differences okay this is uh, this language and this is that language it uh, don't have any class and objects it has class and objects like that quick tips you see practice small programs understand don't just memorize use this sheet to quickly recall syntax and don't worry i will be uploading a video for theory cheat sheet okay how you need to remember theory sheet cheat sheet uh, like uh, how you need to remember theory in c and c plus plus that cheat sheet also i'm going to upload okay this is for the programs or small programs that will be for theory i hope you like this video if yes let me know in the comment section and also like this video okay just click on that thumb and share this video with your friends whom you feel like this video will be helpful who are about to write their c and c plus plus examination for notes you text me on my instagram learn with sahira and uh, what else for theory please stay tuned check out our channel playlist semester 2 c and c plus plus bye bye